So if f of z is an analytic function and um, the real part is u of x and y and the imaginary part is v of x and y, then this implies the analyticity of f implies that both u and v are harmonic functions. That is, they both satisfy Laplace's equation. So to see that, um, if f is analytic, it means that u and v satisfy the Cauchy-Riemann equations. And all we need to do to show that u and v are harmonic functions is differentiate this one with respect to x. So that gives us dtu by dx squared equals d2v by dx by dy. And differentiate this with respect to x. So that gives us d2u by dx equals minus d2v by dx squared. Um, right, I also need to differentiate this with respect to, sorry, I did the wrong thing. I need to differentiate this with respect to, uh, well, I can use this a bit later. I differentiate this with respect to y as well. So d2u by dy squared equals minus d2v by dx by dy. And if I add this to this, then this cancels this. So I get del squared u equals 0. And um, I need to differentiate this with respect to y. So that gives me du by dx by dy equals d2v by dy squared. I'm interchanging the order of differentiation since uh, they're smooth functions. I'm allowed to do that. Um, so then, um, uh, doing minus this, adding this to this, and this and this cancel, and I also get del squared v equals zero.